हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू बिग बुक टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ए न्यू लैब प्रैक्टिकल ऑफ टाइट्रेशन मेथड दैट इज एस्टिमेशन ऑफ द अमाउंट ऑफ पोटेशियम पर मैंगनेट यूजिंग स्टैंडर्ड फेरस अमोनियम सल्फेट सोल्यूशन विच विल बी हैविंग नॉर्मेलिटी ऑफ पॉइंट वन दट इज एन बाई टेन एंड ऑल्सो वी रिक्वेस्ट टू सब्सक्राइब टू अवर यूट्यूब चैनल बिग बुक एंड हेल्प अस टू ग्रो एंड टू सर्व एट दि विगरस रेट नो कमिंग टू दि नेक्स्ट स्लाइड इन दिस वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस दि प्रिंसिपल हियर the principle is it's a titration method based upon oxidation and reduction of the two reactants where ferrous sulfate solution is titrated against potassium permanganate in the presence of acidic medium of sulfuric acid so acidic medium is necessary in order to prevent precipitation of manganese oxide and here the potassium permanganate acts as a self indicator and this titration is called permanganate titration so here within this first point of the principle the every part of the principle has been very precisely explained now coming to the next point potassium permanganate is a strong oxidant with sulfuric acid if we are going to take the reactant potassium permanganate in the acidic medium then it is going to act as a strong oxidant so here again ferrous ammonium sulfate is a double salt forming a single crystalline structure now here ferrous ammonium sulfate is again called it to be as a more salt now here more salt acts acts as a reducing agent whereas the per potassium permanganate acts as an oxidizing agent so the reaction between more salt and potassium permanganate is going to be a redox reaction so in the first point we have discussed this redox reaction as oxidation reduction titration by combining this oxidation and reduction titration we are going to call it to be as the redox reaction in this redox reaction ferrous ion from more salt gets oxidized and pink colored of the manganese present in potassium permanganate which is plus 7 oxidation state gets reduced to colorless mn2 state that is the manganese so here this is what the simplest uh, way of explaining this particular reaction but as per the chemical formula the reaction will be written in the huge form but this is the only way how this particular reaction can be explained now the principle can be put together so coming to the next slide which is showing the chemical reactions what the principle which we have already discussed of that so here we can see that this is the chemical reaction where reduction half reaction of the potassium permanganate is seen where the acidic medium potassium sulfate manganese sulfate water molecules and oxygen liberated and the oxidation half reaction of the more salt ferrous ammonium sulfate ferrous sulfate ammonium sulfate and water molecules liberated at 5 molars here overall reaction that is this part and this part both reactions will be combined to give the overall reaction that is 2 KMnO4 10 FeSO4 NH4SO4 6H2O that is ferrous ammonium sulfate and this is potassium permanganate 
with water molecules that is in the acidic medium these both together react to give potassium sulfate manganese sulfate ferrous sulfate and ammonium sulfate where acidic medium helps in not to get precipitate the manganese if uh, so it is going to give the reaction in perfect way now here this is the ionic equations involved in involved that is reduction of reaction here you can see mno4 minus plus 8h plus plus 5e minus gives mn2 plus plus 4h2o so here from here the water molecule sorry oxygen and from here the water molecules gives the 4h2o that is hr hydrogen molecule is of 8 as here and water molecules sorry oxygen molecules of 4 from here and rest is mno mn2 plus now further is the oxidation here you can see fe2 plus minus of e minus gives rise to fe3 plus into 5 and overall reaction as similar to the above here also you can see mno 4 minus plus 8 h plus plus 5 fe2 plus gives to mn2 plus plus 5 fe3 plus plus 4 h2o so this is the ionic equation involved now coming to the procedure here uh, we have made the procedure very simplest form as uh, in the lab manuals you can see that uh, you know it will be like uh, rinsing the pipette and rinsing the water burette rinsing the conical flask with their respective reactants and further filling these uh, things again with their respective reactants and further uh, getting into the titration all those things we have reduced those things you can get through with your records itself but to make it very simple we made the procedure like this you can even you can write this uh, procedures in your examinations there will be no harm in scoring any marks so here the procedure is exactly you can take 25 centimeter cube of the given ferrous ammonium sulfate solution which will be pipetted out in a clean conical flask two test tubes full of dilute sulfuric acid to be added to it now here as per the requirement uh, you are going to add now here the test tubes will range from around 5 cm cube 10 cm cube and differently as per the requirement to their labs the test tubes will be present so here you can add the sulfuric acid of 2 ml to 5 ml centimeter cube further you can run down the potassium permanganate which is in the burette drop by drop to titrate against the ammonium ferrous ammonium sulfate which is already taken in the conical flask as the re reaction happens at the end point the last drop of KMnO4 of the burette turns the whole solution to pale pink within the conical flask so that will be the last end point that is the reaction has got new the reactants has neutralized each other so the whatever the product is present there it is the neutralized product so further the volume of the solution rundown of the solution of the burette that is the KMN4 is noted and the titration is repeated till agreeing values are obtained now here till agreeing values are obtained in the sense you have to repeat the titrations two more times already one time we have discussed in the same way the two more times the titration has to be repeated so there after uh, that you are going to tabulate those values uh, here the 
Durate readings of the KMLO4 rundown will be noted. That is, uh, this will be the initial durate reading of KMLO4, final durate reading of KMLO4, and the experiment trials will be this one first, second, and third. Now, here, if you are going to see the final volume of the acid run, that is, the KMLO4 uh, rundown from the burette will be noted down here that is uh, by subtracting the initial bureau trading with the final bureau trading so whatever the bureau trading you are going to take here as the initial and after the rundown of the KMN of 4 the final bureau trading those these will be subtracted and the value will be taken in, in the same manner the second and the third will be considered so with the help of these trails the two trials will be considered the second and the third this second and the third trials will be taken the mean mean value of these trials will be taken so that uh, here we have mentioned it to be as the x value because we have not taken any values here they are blank now we are going to take the normality equation to estimate the or to find out the normality of the KMNO4 before identifying or estimating the amount of the KMNO4 present in the sample. So for that we are going to consider the normality equation that is N1 V1 is equal to N2 V2 N is normality V is the volume of the solution used within the titration lab practical that is here n1 v1 one is for one substance or the reactant two is for the another substance or the reactant used in the titration so here kmno4 will be subjected here for n1 v1 and ferrous ammonium sulfate or the more salt will be subjected for n2 v2 and the values will be substituted that is n1 into x here from here the x will be taken because here the rundown of the value will be uh, tabled and the value mean value is taken here so x will be substituted here so further we know the normality of the ferrous ammonium sulfate that is 0.1 and the volume which we have taken the conical flask in each of the trials that is the 25 ml so here therefore as we are finding the n1 the formula is going to form n1 is equal to 0.1 into 25 whole to the divided by x that is the volume of the burette uh, solution that is the kmno4 so here whatever the value we get here normality of the kmno4 will be that so further Further, the equivalent weight of the KMNO4 is considered and that will be taken it to be as the 31.6 and further whatever the normality which are which we are taken here of KMNO4 that will be multiplied with 31.6 so the whatever the molecular weight is the of the KMN4 which will that will be multiplied with the normality of the KMN4 of the solution so the last sentence is mass per decimeter cube that is uh, dm that is dm cube of KMN4 is equal to normality into gram equivalent weight so we are going to write it in the form of the formula itself n1 into 31.6 grams so this is how we are going to do the calculation for the estimation of the amount of the KMNO4 present in the given solution. So this is regarding the estimation of the amount of KMNO4 using standard N by 10 ferrous ammonium sulfate solution. So here this completes the lab practical. And one more thing that to be noted is that we have avoided giving the lab requirements instead of that we have 
given the simplest way of this experiment because this experiment uh, preparations are very less and that can be done easily and uh, by keeping the examination point of view we have prepared these slides for both the uh, uh, plus two or the pre-university students and also for the undergraduate students so this is what the slides for this lab practical and uh, we thank you for watching this video log and also we request you guys to spread this one and also we ask you very politely to subscribe to our channel and give us the uh, likes to which will encourage us to serve you more better and in